Traditional total shoulder replacement essentially resurfaces the normal human anatomy, which is on the humerus, a ball, and on the socket, uh, on the glenoid side, a socket. So we resurface that and keep the native anatomy uh, and essentially match it. It requires that the rotator cuff be present to stabilize the shoulder uh, and restore the ability to lift your arm. In patients with a rotator cuff tear, they don't have that rotator cuff to balance. So what we've done is reverse it, and so that's become the name of the implant itself. So instead, now on the humerus, you have a socket, and on the shoulder blade side, the ball is placed. And that is a much more stable construct, so that in rotator cuff deficient shoulders, they now have the ability to still lift their arm, and most importantly, have a stable shoulder.